Why should people vote you due to the premier of Western Cape? I think where we are is that the ANC is a collective. We, at this point of time, the most important thing is to ensure that the African National Congress regain our strength in this particular problem. We have seen that there's a lot of challenges, and those challenges are related to poverty, unemployment, and inequality. We know that this province is the province where colonialism started. It's a problem where apartheid was entrenched. In fact, the first war of resistance against the colonial masters took place within Cape Town. Secondly, we've seen over many decades a lot of great activists, be it in the name of Fanti, be it in the name of Aunt May, be it in the name of Mandel Bella, be it in the name of Ashley Creel, Anton Franz, Johnny Issel, and a range of activists which really burned the flame of freedom when the ANC was banned and we are therefore calling on all our activists and all our supporters to make sure that we bring the Western Gate into the mold of the country. What is the reality in this problem? The reality is skewed development. It continues to be on the, on the level of a party planning. Our people are being thrown into Lucky Star. Our people are being thrown into Queensland but they are not being given space by the Democratic Alliance and the Harlem Zillis Party in particular into the CBD. There is land in the Western Cape in Blauberg, there is land in Constantia, there is land in Farrell, in um, Monaton and other areas which can be created for integrated human settlement. But it is still a notion by the DA supporters of not in my backyard. I also think the reason why the, the ANC has to um, ensure that we gain our strength in this province of government is because we've seen miserable delivery in the poor communities. We only saw delivery by the DA in the elite communities. For example, the public transport system between Kailich and Mitchell's Plain Cape Town, which we initiated under ANC government, of at least 3 billion rand that we put in. The DA government has taken it away from there and has put it into Wilmington, which only supports the elite and the wealthy. The other re real issue is the closing of schools. It's unacceptable that the MC of education in the province, or the province with the highest level of dropouts in, in South Africa, that they continue to close 27 schools and we will fight for it. Evictions, water cuts, uh, pink letters um, against poor communities, whether it's in the colored or in the black African community. The fact that the DA can spend 170 million rand in the CBD, in the Convention Center upgrade, and the people, the poor people, whether it is in Bansiago or in Gavita, must still be in informal settlements in what we call using Fota Potas. It is just disgraceful. It's unacceptable. Farm workers in the Western Cape are still being treated like slaves. They're being looked down on, there's evictions, there's assaults, the minimum wage issues are not being um, taken responsible. We are hearing the Premier speaking about refugees. How can we be a refugee in the country of your birth? We are hearing the, the, the provincial government making excuses for when they are not delivering. And they only blame national and we call on the people of the Western State, ANC members and non-ANC members. ANC supporters and non-ANC supporters. This is a battle between those that want to see the solidarity between all our people and those that want to bring the right interests. We are seeing the land ownership patterns, the property ownership patterns, all of that we are seeing still in the hands of a few and that is the white people. And hence, we will go from village to village, community to community, we will go from area to area, town to town, to go and fight and defend the solidarity of the poor and the working class families, um, our people, as they want to see their life getting better. So what would, uh, if should ASC be voted into government as the Premier here, what would you do for women? And what have you been doing for women from the virtue of the position as the chairperson of the ANC, the Western Cape? As the leader of the ANC, we are saying there is a lot around when it comes to women's abuse, when it comes to gangsterism, when it comes to terror. And what we will be doing as a collective, as the ANC government, 
we will ensure that as we go out into the community, we will make sure that NGOs are getting the money back. The money that was taken away from organizations like Micro, Sarki Bartman and other centers, we must make sure that that money goes back. We must make sure that advice officers, advice officers are normally the buffer between starvation and survival. We must ensure that advice officers are being strengthened in this particular province. There's a big problem with ECPs, early childhood development. The city government, the DA government in the city is starting to close down ECDs in communities. Who is looking after these, these in communities? These are mothers, these are grandmothers, and they are doing so much to help the poorest of the poor. And we are saying we must stop that and we will ensure that these cities are flourishing in the order amongst the ordinary community. What we must do is put professional teams behind the women that are having CCDs pressures, etc., to help them into that particular place. The maintenance. There's a big problem with paying off maintenance. And we're saying to men, you cannot have children, you can't, when, whether you are in a marriage or not in a marriage, you can't have children and not honoring your responsibility. And hence, as the provincial government, if the ANC um, take that responsibility over what we have to do, is we will make sure that maintenance becomes a responsibility and a top priority. But we must also look at cooperatives. We must ensure that the cooperatives, that the SME development, women in construction development, youth empowerment development, and even to the idea where we can get the informal sector as well as the formal sector as SMMEs to try and help to create a self-sustainable opportunities and that is what the government is supposed to do. So what would you say to the whites in the Western Cape? They said if ANC come in they will not respect the Freedom Charter, that they were going to lose their properties. I think the white people must understand that it's wrong for them to, to bring forward by some. The ordinary, the most of the white people are just going on with their life. But there's a few that are always trying, and this is the DA that to try and create a divide between white and black. Between white and black, which is African color in India. And we are saying to the white community, in 1994, we reconciled. And the Nelson Mandela's leadership, the African National Congress, and the broader formation of um, the mass democratic movement, we've reached out with, hand, with our hand, with our body and with our soul. And all that we, we, we are saying, it's important that everyone, those that benefited from a party, don't only reach out at the sports stadium, but also reach out in body and soul in the context of helping with fighting poverty, unemployment and inequality. Because if the, this imbalance grows between rich and poor, all of us will be in a different place. And hence, I want to call on the white community to come and work with the ANC. Um, one doesn't always need to like the ANC, but the ANC will be there for many, many decades to come in government. And it's best therefore to work in partnership with the African National Party. So finally, can you give us a general message to the voters and the electorate? General, for everybody out there, why they should go vote ANC into power in the Western Cape? The ANC is a party that is the oldest in Africa. The ANC is a party that stands for non-racialism. The ANC is a party that stands for non-sexism and democracy and a prosperous society. We've got a plan. Our focus is education, health, rural development and agriculture. Also to fight uh, crime and corruption as well as industrial development and to create jobs through that. And specifically to the youth we want to say we want to roll out a big skills development agenda and we are calling on you to partner the ANC, to vote for the African National Congress so that this dream in which we believe in to create a better and a bright Western Cape that indeed so that can belong to all the people and not to some that that can be realized. Thank you so much Mr. Frasman for your time.